All right, so uh, Kendrick just dropped. <laughs> Watch the party die. At least that's what we're calling it, huh? Um, uh, reported by Genius last night, they said the untitled song known as Watch the Party Die came surprise as a, a 9-11-2024 20, at 5 p.m. He dropped the thing. Uh, so just wanted to give you a couple takes here on uh, myself. The song here, it's pretty crazy. I read the review on Genius thought it was cool and they really get some really awesome stuff together so definitely check that out uh, everybody seems to love it so i don't really got to give them any uh, acknowledgement but <laughs> just for kicks let's see what i thought of the song and let's get my take and see what webs i can weave so initially when i heard the song i thought the the first four bars i thought that was trump related it says uh, uh it's time to watch the party die the shit got, got too wicked to apologize it's different getting whacked and disqualified so uh, that's what it was going on at the time. There's been a lot of like in, in, in impeachments and all this crazy stuff with Trump going on in the courts and uh, in and out of all that. So um, this shit has got too wicked to apologize. It's like, you know, a toxic relationship. No more sorries. The, a million sorries ain't going to cut it or fix things. We're, we're done. And um, it's different getting whacked and disqualified. And then at the next line, it says, we even killed the killers because they take in innocent lives. Uh, burn a whole village, we start over, it's really that time. We even killed the killers because they take in innocent lives. And that reminded me of Trump again, because uh, the shot at Trump and then the innocent bystander uh, lost their life too. Um, uh, which is the uh, end of that sentence. And then it beginning a new sentence, burn the whole village, start it over, it's time to really apologize. Have you ever like played with Legos and you're like building the little house or something or the airplane or whatever the heck is out there? And then you're just like, fuck it, start it all up, buy three. You ever seen that Bill Burr thing where he's like trying to put the table together and he breaks it? She's like, oh, now you're just going to break it. He's like, I will break it. He's like, I'll buy five, break four. I will buy another <laughs> one. I'll buy fucking five and smash but, four. But um, that's the scenario that he's talking about. He's like, dude, I don't I don't know what it means, but we got a clean slate, clean, clean slate, clean sheet of paper here. That's what he's saying. Uh, why reason with these ramblers if they can't see the future first? Why try to compromise with somebody that really can't predict anything more than you and I could predict? The next line uh, says, why, are, uh, why argue with these clowns of the circus as well at work? So, I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory, I suppose. Uh, you know, if it's already in the flow and everybody's part of the flow, it's going to be hard to be like, hey, don't do the flow, you know? So, uh, Next line, just walk that man down. That'll do everyone a solid. It's love, but tough love sometimes got to result in violence. And the phrase walk that man down is being overlooked by, I think a lot of people walk that man down to me is right when I hear it is uh, death row, not records, with real death row. Walk that man down the aisle, uh, not the aisle. <laughs> hey, yo, uh, walk that man down the uh, like cell block aisle. Yeah, the trellis. Then and to uh, his subsequent fate, as he is um, uh, filled with liquids uh, that would make his heart stop. I, I or, or hung. I don't know what the heck they're doing back there. Electric chairs. Uh, uh, but anyway, walk that man down. That'll do everyone a solid. It's love, but it's tough love. Sometimes got to result in violence. Hey, would it be so far fetched to say that Kendrick Lamar is probably agreeing with some of these like? haters of rap music um because some of the things they say is like all they do is talk about bitches and hoes and cars and blah blah blah, blah. we know the list right is it that far to say that kendrick lamar pretty much agrees with those people because i got a list i got a list um and and i'll pretty much just walk you through this so after this point i noticed by reading the lyrics the lyrics are structured in bullet point format, meaning that it's like pretty much stating his um, his premise. Like on the first bars that I've spit so far, he's saying, hey, uh, everything's all fucked up. We need to restart it. Why fucking sit here and banter back and forth? You're right, I'm right, bullshit. This is a suggestion. And then it says, if you... Parading gluttony without giving the truth to youth, the graveyard is company. Just tell us what the cask what casket to choose. So if you parade in gluttony, this is where I thought there was a Rick Ross line because he's fat and gluttony, you know. Uh, without giving the truth, the graveyard is company. Just tell us what 
casket to choose. Actually, there is another Rick Ross line later on in uh, in the uh, later on, but um, we'll go after that too. They party more. The bitches tell me. Oh, this is continued. The part they party more. The bitches tell me. What are you working for? They glorify scamming. Get you chipped over this credit card. So I feel like this is still like um, a Rick Ross E esque type of situation. Like, like what's your goal here? Because you don't do anything. You are on camera doing fucking nothing and not. Um, adding to the conversation, as they would say, or or being a productive member of the community, whether you have a community, be your block that you live, two blocks where you live, area that you live, or like a spiritual community, such like would hip hop exist, that country music genre. There's a lot of the uh, beef going on between Post Malone and Morgan Wallen, both dropping the N word all the time, and then Beyonce getting kind of is she snubbed? Is she not snubbed out of country? Did she say it was a country album? And they began should I wipe the spit off my lip while I talk to you all answers are things to be considered and as we go on with these lyrics maybe we can get some more clarity on those the spit thing definitely we should get rid of um they glorify scammy get you chipped off this credit card it's just saying hey man you're gonna get you're, you're getting tracked by um you're, you're not getting tracked uh what's a better word you're getting uh zoned in on tractor beam that's what kind of what i was thinking influencers talking down because i'm not with that basic shit but they don't hate me they hate the man i represent the type of man that never dick ride because i don't want a favor the man that resides in patience so where the soldiers at you don't want me around because i might tell people that you're bullshit it's continued i keep having rick ross stuck in my head as i talk about this because i i, I could apply most of these to rick ross and and, and, and so far i haven't saw I'm not a whole Drake stand like that. So like maybe there's Drake-ness passing over here. But uh, I've also read through the uh, genius side captions in here where they say how they think it applies. And it did, I guess, you know, in, in, the, in that mind. But uh, not as much as I feel my take is really taken on because I'm taking it from a person that is kind of unbiased here. The only person i like out of all these scenario scenarios or names that i i really said is is kendrick here i i mean it's okay so let's go on the man resides in patience to where the soldiers at the ones that lost it all and learned to learn from that a thirst for life head inside a book because he concerned with that information that'll change his life because he yearns for that dedication finding out what's right because he can earn from that i feel for the women that down with the that deal with the clown and nerd shit can't blame them today they ain't really got much to work with how many bitches harder than a lot of you young we we'll trade it off a nip i ain't proud of you young i ain't proud of you it's hard to i guess is express uh questions in in the middle of a verse for a lot of people there, there's a, a a question that tupac asks and uh it's either brenda's got a baby or you keep your head up but it doesn't sound like he's asking a question. So if you're just listening to it, it's like, what the fuck? Did, did, did it even make any sense what you just said? But if you hear the question mark in the lyrics, then uh, it would be nice. But uh, when it comes to uh, where, where, where the soldiers at, where the soldiers at, uh, it's a, then he's set, is listing uh, characteristics of that soldier, the ones that lost it all and learned to learn from that. A thirst for life. His head inside of the book, he concerned with that. So it's just saying that somebody that's trying to better themselves, such as a person like Nip, would be a lot better than having one of that person than having a whole bunch of these other people just taking up space and not doing nothing but looking up in the sky. Not really making any progress. Adding to the conversation. Jen Psaki, got to loop that stuff back. Not a Jen Psaki fan, but I, if you don't know me, you, uh, then you may not know that when I, instead of saying, uh, comedians will say callback whenever they have something that uh, pertains to something they said earlier, restated again in conversation. Me, I say Jen Psaki, because if you remember in the early Biden years, whenever someone asked her a question, she would never give them an answer. She'd just say, well, circle back to that. So then now I just say Jen Psaki. Uh, and it confuses a lot of people, but if everybody gets on board with that, then we can all know what the heck I'm talking about. Chorus is a, uh, a, a prayer, not DMX, so we don't got to worry about that. Did I already say that? Might have said that in a different take, because I've tried this five times now. Verse 2, I think it's time to watch the party die. Street and corporate guys. So this is where it becomes a list again. This is where it becomes very bullet pointy. Um, I think it's time to watch the party die. Think of that like the name of the book title. 
and now he's saying, who, who, who's in the party? Street, blah, blah, corporate guys, blah, blah, blah. the rappers that report the lies. Blah, blah. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't. I just got used to saying street, street, corporate guys, the rappers that report the lies. And then he says, I need the families mortified. We can do life without them. Get their bodies organized. Tell me if you oblige. And then uh, it's it goes into uh, no more pillow talking, jump starting neighborhood wars. That could be Drake related. I remember that uh, when the. Um, Pusha T stuff was happening. He said that uh, 40 was uh, banging some girl and started talking shit. The girl got it back to Pusha T through whatever means, probably had. And uh, <laughs> and then he put it in a song, just like people usually do. But um, when, when we go on, uh, it could be that. It could not be. Uh, dirty Mac of bitches because your spirit is insecure. I mean... This is definitely a, a thing that we see overall in rap, and it's just those three guys. Remember those three guys, street and blah, corporate guys, and the rappers that report the lies. Um, the flashy man with nasty decisions using money as a backbone. I want his head cracked before he's back home. Now, is this not a Rick Ross thing? Did that not just happen in Toronto or Canada, somewhere up there, where he was over there doing a show, thought he was going to be slick, and fuck Drake over there, and they whooped his ass in the background in the backstage. Did I not see that on Instagram? Every guy, uh, the, the spectators beat up the uh, security, whatever. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Just a theory. I'm just saying words. The radio personality pushing propaganda for salary. That could be so many people. And I don't want to say that he's saying Charlemagne the God or anybody that's like in hip hop like that. Because it could be George Stephanopoulos, it could be some unknown blonde lady that I don't know her name or don't care to know her name because she means no difference if she was there or not because she's one of the people in the beginning. Street and corporate guys or rappers that report the lies. She's not adding to the conversation. She's not progressing in the world. Next line. Let me know when they turn up as a casualty. I want agony. Assault and battery. I see a new earth. New earth. What's that new earth look like, Kendrick? And Kendrick going, well, I'll tell you. Let me tell you a little bit about this new earth that I'm talking about right here. It's for one, it's filled with beautiful people making humanity work. More bullet points, right? And, uh, and... And, and, and the way, and, and how would you, how would you do that, Kendrick Mark? Kendrick Mark, this, hey, I got an idea, dude. What about this? Let's kill the followers that follow up on Pop and Molly's from the obvious degenerates that's failing to acknowledge the hope that we're trying to spread. Huh? How about that? That's how we would fill the earth with beautiful people that make humanity work. By killing the followers that follow up Pop and Molly's from the obvious degenerates that's failing to acknowledge the hope that we're trying to spread. And this is when I thought I got Trumpy again, because he said, if it's not, if I'm not his vote, ooh, that's kind of biting. <gasps> ooh, like the if you're uh, if you're not for Biden, you ain't black if you're not for Biden or whatever he said, uh, then you need to bring his fucking head. I'll film that shit. Hi, Rez. I, f I feel that shit high res seems like it's just one of them throw off lines where he's like, I need a little bit more. He's like, fuck it. Anything will do. Uh, third verse. Sometimes I wonder what Lecrae would do. Fuck these. Up or show him what a prey would do. I want to be empathetic. My heart like D1, but I would. And my uh, thought process is that he's saying uh, spray a few or something like that. You can make it's like Mad Libs. You can just make that up in your head. You fill it in the rhyme. Uh, it's time to get these devils out the way. But he didn't want to say it because he just mentioned two Christian rappers. You know what I mean? That'd be weird to be like still talking about like shoot him up shit right after mentioning Jesus Christ. Uh, it's time to get these devils out of the way. Heavy metals on my sword, not sword. It's just sword. Uh, we settle hard disputes today. The ghetto Hollywood divorce. Say hello to your future fate. The culture bred with carnivores. Meat eaters. You let them snack, they eat your face. See? The signature is been, the signatures is been forged. 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 Forged with hot iron, like uh, like they would do with uh, a cattle's ass. Like when you take your forge and you say double R ranch, and it has all the double R's, and they're going backwards, and they boop in the butt talk, so everybody knows that's my cow. Why? Because I scalded him like that. 
uh, where are we at? Uh, you let them snack, they'll eat your face. That's a crazy thing to say right there. Because I am from Wisconsin. There's a lot of face eating that happens in Wisconsin. We got Ed Gein. We got Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh, there was one more, too. I forgot that. Uh, maybe Gacy? I don't remember. There's a third one out there that's really crazy, dude. Just people up here eating faces all the time of humans. Uh, but that's a scan for you. Uh, they wonder why I'm not enthused to drop. The more visible you get, the more spirit, the more your spiritual is tried. That's understandable. You're not even allowed to have your own thoughts or opinions on things because your voice is only there to be judged now. It's cynical to say I know these artists petrified. The end result in jail by Jezebel or drugged up full of lies. That pillow talking that was mentioned earlier causing neighborhood wars that he mentioned earlier is now resulting, the end result, in jail by Jezebel. Jezebel, just a common name for hookers, right? Or drugged up and full of lies. So they could be drugged up full of lies like uh, Aaron Carter was, rest in peace, or they could be drugged up full of lies like, I don't know, whoever is alive still and just talking some stupid shit and is an asshole because they're all fucking on drugs. But um, uh, critical, I know my physical is tested all the time. I'm pitiful, sunk a place soon as I'm questioning my pride. Whoa! Jeez. That's deep, man, because like the Bible says, like pride is a sin. So to feel pride, I mean, you, you like naturally want to feel glad that you did something good. But then uh, I guess from what I hear, and I'm not preaching right now, the Bible saying to have an immense amount of pride is a sin because it's boastful and shit, you know? I'm seeing ghosts blacking out, relapsing one thought at a time. I spare no feelings, that ain't mine. I'm in my feelings when I slide. I mean, I wonder what would Lecrae would do. Terrence Martin said I'm mental, mentally with layers. True. See? It's hard to be, um, uh, it's hard to pass along tonality in a, in a flow. You know, I barely made it out right there. Like, you know, because he's saying true. It's just, it's a, it's a reply within a non-statement. Uh, I flood the market with my best regards. I paid your dues. And so it's up. If you win one of ours, it's bad news. Although po- written and posed and spoken as a threat, it's saying if you're not one of these rappers that ain't, <laughs> telling lies, corporate guys, or street then it's good news. Because then we welcome you in to this land, this earth that Kendrick sees new. Uh, I, I flood the market with my best regards. I paid your dues. It means you don't have to put up the tough guy bullshit anymore. He said, I flood the market with best regards. He said, I just said, good fucking morning, and smiled at the top of my cheeks for you to the whole world and shook their hand and gave them a kiss and kissed the baby and gave them a loaf of bread and some peanut butter, natural, no need to stir, spread for their home and a brand new pack of butter knives. So you don't have to worry about these people feeling comfortable or around you or, or getting comfortable around you or feeling uncomfortable around you. That's what I meant to say the first time. And it was hard to do in one breath. And... <laughs> The, uh, the uh, next line here, it's and it's, so it's up to you if it ain't, it's bad news. My Jay Estrada said, I got to burn it down to build it up. Back to the beginning of the lines or the song. What was the thing? We got to build it down. It's about that time. Uh, that confirmation, real as fuck. It ain't hard. It, it ain't too many real as us. Locking into what I trust. Looking outside. The kids live tomorrow because today... The party just died. Ooh, dude. I, that's pretty deep right there, man. I got a little, little goosebump R.L. Stein right there because, um, that confirmation real as fuck. It ain't too many real as us. Locking into what I trust. Looking outside. The kids live tomorrow because today the party just died. And that is what it is. You, I, I'm from Wisconsin. I said it already. I'm from Wisconsin. I go to town or whatever, and I'll look at the bars at 10, 30, 11 o'clock when I'm trying to find cheeseburgers and ice cream. 
and the, the, it's just dead. There's no, there's no traffic. There's no people out at the bars. Just 10 years ago, I was out there, um, living it up. Everybody would be living it up. Uh, but anyway, just doing my thing, probably listening to that song. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, so no, I was doing that and I just, uh, it's just changed now. I, I guess, uh, I mean, weed isn't legal in Wisconsin, so it's not that totally, but phones have definitely exploded. And also that age of phones, uh, being introduced to a younger age, like the 12 year olds getting phones that those people are now 20 and 22. And so they're just on their phones also. And then their kids are on their devices. So it is a lot about a bit of that stagnance. That's probably uh, been noticed. Maybe we need to tone it down a little bit. I think is what he's saying uh in a sense but also all this bullshit that we all see every day let's get rid of that first i guess some of our parties uh do need to die and i, I i'm seeing that happen over and over again and i remember the first uh, uh was is it called swimming pools by kendrick see this is I, I love kendrick's music i don't like seek him out though because i'm just 40 stuck in my ways uh, <laughs> but um so swimming pools right i i was uh drinking at that time i've been sober for two years now but uh when that song came out, that was all in the bars and in the clubs and everything like that. And we'd be drinking and uh, get a few names. You know the song. And um, we get wasted. Swimming pool for the liquor, then you die. Right? Didn't know. Then I see an interview with him years later and saying like, no, I wrote that because I, I was looking at my environment, looking at people around me and seeing how they acted and how um, they were affected. I'm like, what, dude? I was like, you don't, you don't get down? <laughs> I was upset. But then I listened to the album. I thought it was awesome. Then I heard an interview. Then he gave Bone Dogs and Harmony a bunch of love. And I'm a huge Bone Dogs and Harmony fan. So I was like, all right, now, oh, now he's one of us. That's how I thought. Exactly the same way. That's a great comparison. Um, because he's saying, hey, we're all cool over here. We're trying to be peaceful and be lovey. You, you trying to come over here? The, they come up, no, nah, man, I'm trying to bring all that bullshit. All right, you got to die. That's what he's saying. <laughs> he said, if you ain't on the good shit, you got to go. And we have to keep you out. And we have to make sure you don't come back. And also, you know what's even worse than that? You know, negativity spreads so much quicker than happiness because it's such an easier feeling to feel because humans are pussies. So, like, you know, there might be a guy standing next to the negative guy that's not really all that negative, but he's going to turn out negative if he sticks around him, and he's not even going to know that there's positivity and know what positivity is like until he forces himself away from that person. It's like magnets. It's like magnets. Anyway, that's my review for Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> that's my review for Kendrick Lamar's Watch the Party Die, named by us, because we're one of them, like in the lyrics. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Uh, let me know what you thought of my take. And uh, for uh, other things like this, you can keep watching other videos uh, in my channel. Click on my face. It's around there somewhere. Thanks. Have a good day.